I'm here to talk about doing a mail merge between Word and Excel. I'm working with Office 2007. We've got the spreadsheet here. We have some information here. We use the date formats here. It says 11-1 here. It says 35 here. If I were to merge this directly with the Excel, which you can do, it's going to make this just look like 1500. And it will make it 9-15-2010. We want to make it look formatted proper. We've got this letter here, invoice for services, you know, I could bold this, whatever. But I have the date perform the account here, which will be the person we're shipping it to, and how much we, we just want it to look right on here. Uh, the CSV is not going to work common separated values. That could work with access. However, to do this, the best way to do this, we go into um, Excel. We're going to copy and paste this into Word. Copy the data. Paste it in a blank document here. Looks a little funky. It's in a table. We can just widen the columns a bit. Shows everything there. I'll just show out the paragraph marker so it looks a little bit easier. I'm going to save the file. I'm just going to call it data. I already had that created, so I just wrote over that. So, when I'm going to do a merge, I'm going to close out of this. Want to do the merge. Best way to do this, we click on Mailings, Start Mail Merge. I like using the wizard. What we have to do first, we just go step by step. We have this created, we start the document. I need to use the current document. I'm going to select the recipients. I'm going to browse. That's what we're merging it with. You always have to poke through this whole thing every time. And you can see I have the CSV, the XLS here. I'm going to work with the DOCX. Uh, look at the icon here. I always display the extensions here shows this here. It's showing it formatted the way I want. Wonderful. I go to the next step, write my letter. I don't use the address block. I click on more items. Date performed. I double click on this. Close out of the window. The account. More items. That's name address. Instead of clicking on the close, I could just hit the escape key much faster. Amount due. On there, go to the next step. Preview. It's showing the person here. Uh, if I did November 1, there, $35. I have the uh, paragraph markers on. I could shut that off. Makes it look a little bit easier. And then I could go look at each one. Doot. Doot. Dude, it's in here. Next, complete the merge. I could either print or I could end edit individual letters. Comes out there that way. I can look if I have to do an annotation there, or whatever. Like I could just go down here, hit the enter key, and saying, "Please pay by Thursday." So you got that there. You personalize that little thing on there. That's a separate document. You don't need to save that. You could print it. That's doing the merge in Office 2007. This whole thing that we get over here exists in the earlier versions such as 2002 and 2003. It really works very much the same as the other versions.